Hi, this is Alan Edwards with L-36.com. This is the fourth race in a series of five races. You get to throw one. We had three firsts going into this, so we only needed a third. Here I'm waving off a boat that's barging, and um, we ended up passing in front of him, and you'll see him off to the left. So the question is, what can we learn from this race? How did this boat, 36-foot boat, end up finishing within 30 seconds of three other 41-foot boats with all the boats our size at least three minutes behind us? And I'll get into that. There's the boat that barged off to the left. Um, if you look at the map of the course, it was to marker two and back. And if you look at the start, you can see that we took a hard left and the reason is we got what's called a velocity header and we didn't recognize it. That happens when your boat speed exceeds the wind speed and your crew says, you're luffing, you're luffing, fall off, fall off. Anyway, the thing to do in that case is not to fall off but to head up until the boat slows down to its target speed. Okay, here we tacked and you know, we're going around the, the first mark. And there's two 41-foot boats that made it in front of us. I think there's all three of them did. And... Um, I realized we we're heading into no wind, and so I altered course in a second to um, get off to the left of these boats. You get over there where there's more wind, and I decided to go to windward of um, this other other CNC 41. So here I go. The crew's gonna. Um, adjust the sails to keep up and I'm going to settle in. I'm not quite sure why I gained enough speed there to get next to them but I did and it turned out to be quite fortunate as you'll see in a second when we get some boat speed going. Now here, here we got the wind and you'll see uh, they're going to head up. They're, they're pushing me up. I'm going to follow them up and the crew's adjusting the sails, and they fell off again. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. But the interesting thing is to watch their boat wake. We're just riding forward of their wake. One way to think of it is that we're surfing their wake. The other is that their wake is filling in our wake, and so we're not falling back into it and limiting our boat speed. So basically they're erasing our hull speed, and we kept up with them almost all the way to the mark. Um, I eventually dropped off their wake because there were all these three boats and I didn't want to mess with them. That turned out to be a mistake. I should have stayed with them. I wasn't in any danger of, of messing with them. Uh, but here, if you'll notice, the length of time between when they jive and when we jive is about 20 seconds. We finished 30 seconds behind them, so we only lost another 10 seconds in the upwind leg which is also kind of surprising. The only thing I can think of with that is that we went further north and there was more wind further north. There, typically in this race course there's a wind hole due to a mountain and it's very important to determine where that hole is and not sail into it. You can literally stop your boat. So here we're a little bit of upwind racing and uh, now we're going to the finish line and you can see the three 41-foot boats in front of us and the finish line, the marker is off to the left. We're heading more or less exactly perpendicular to the line uh, for the shortest approach. The line um, is blue on this chart and you can see where we went way far north of the straight line and I think that's why we gained, well not gained, but we only lost 10 seconds to the, the boats. And um, that's more or less it. So thanks for watching. Um, there's some links should be some links here uh, to other videos and to my website. Um, again, that's all I have now, and uh, thanks a lot for watching.